what's up everybody it's Omar it's 5 34 p.m. in the evening August 28th and I wanted to make a video talking about my uh, one trade today which was on uh, TEVA um, you know because of my um, um, you know because I work and I don't have the luxury of trading like a day trader would and, you know have the time or you know uh, work nights, you know, I don't have the luxury of looking at stocks, um, you know, all day. Some days I can get in and play play positions and other days I can't. Um, today I had the opportunity to make one trade. This was a stock I wasn't initially on the watch list that I posted on Twitter. Um, this was a stock that I just saw happen to be moving uh, in the morning. And actually, if you notice, I had a trend line here because I was watching it for a bit um, earlier. But I didn't make a trade there, so because it was only for a second, I was able to see it. Um, so you know, I have this pattern that I talk about, right? Buying dips, and you know, Teva is a stock that's just been. If you look at the daily, I mean, it's just been tanking from twenty, from thirty-one dollars all the way down to fifteen. This stock just continues to just you know tank and tank and tank. So, um, <clears throat> so. I happened to watch to catch this stock um, uh, somewhere around this around here. I noticed, actually, no, I, I actually saw it right after it hit its low. This it had to be about 10:23 uh, a.m. and I wanted to see if it was going to catch a bottom. Now, remember, guys, when a stock sells off like this, like this is called a panic. All right, this is like a panic sale, meaning the market opens, it just panics. It just it just completely sells off, right? And I missed the opportunity. You know, you could have took a trade on this when it went from green to red. You know, once it dipped below the previous day's close price, which was here, and you know it was below VWAP, and then, you know you could have banked, you know, nicely on this. But um, fortunately, I missed that play. So what I like to do is, you know, if I see a stock selling off like this, I keep my eyes on it to see where it's gonna find its support and where um, it's usually gonna have a, like a bounce because you know shorts are gonna cover and that's gonna cause the price of the stock to go up. Sometimes when a stock also does this is like if it's on an uptrend and then people are taking profit and then new buyers come in. So, um, but that's not this case. This is a, you know, this company's, the fundamentals suck and that's why it continues to sell off. Um, so, this is what happens, right? And I made a video about this on Friday. So, this is the low at this point, right? I'm going to show you how simple it is to take a trade on this where your risk is minimal and you can make some money. So, that's the low, right? So the start gap starts gapping up, right? And you see it's, it's up to about 1580, right? Right here. So right here, this is resistance, right? Then it comes back down, right? But look, it's forming a new support level, right? I, I went over this in my video on Friday. Watch the video I made on Friday, okay? So now this is the low. It's bouncing up. But remember, what you want before you get into the stock is you want a clear test of the support level to make sure that the stock is is holding a new support level so that you can see a trend upward right you don't want to get in here because you know the stock well you you technically could risking this if you wanted to but what i like to do is i like to see the stock kind of go up a bit and then come back down and test and see if it's going to hold this or is it going to collapse and continue to go further down what so what we saw here right the stock starts getting a little bit of momentum right gaps up gets to 1583 right so now that's the new high so it's forming higher highs and higher lows right you see because this was the when it found its low here this was 1580 was the high and then support became 50, uh, resistance uh, hit at 1576 so now you're getting that's the new high right that's the new high after the gap down and this is the higher low which is the new support level but then what happens it forms a higher high right because this was resistance and it broke it to 1583 and then it comes back down and look and for a second there it touches uh 1575 right here right but it's still a higher low right it's still higher it's still higher than the low which was 1572 it's a little below this right so i like to see another test and i see it come up 1583 couldn't break it couldn't break that resistance and boom, I saw it touch here again, and it touched that previous um, support level, and this made me comfortable to get in the trade because I was like, all right, now I'm seeing that it's forming a new clear uh, support level, 
and I can take a trade. And you know what? I can risk the 1572 if all else fails. You know, I cut my losses. So I'm risking only a couple of cents. And at least I want to see, at least hopefully get back to VWAP because that's what short sellers are going to probably do to see. And sure enough, the stock, it took a little time because it came back up, right, to 1580, kind of came back down. But then you got the volume coming in because what happens is these short sellers are looking to see, all right, is this shit going to keep going down? Because I want more money, right? But they see, oh, shit, they, you know, they're like, damn, the stock is not coming down. Fuck, let me cover. So that's what happened. And then you see the trend reversal. So right into here, you see all the buying, buying, buying. Remember, looking at all the volume. Boss, it breaks the 15.0383. It consolidates here, which is great. So now this is the new support level. 15.84 is the new support. And you got that second push. And then once it breaks above VWAP, that's really an indicator of like, oh, shit, like this may cut, keep running. And it got all the way up to 1601, which, why didn't they break above 1601? Why did they do that? Because remember, whole numbers are psychological resistance barriers. I just said, I'm going to stay in until I see the reversal. And as soon as I saw this starting to reverse, I I, I, uh, I, um, I sold my shares. I went in here, um, I took a 2,000 share position, and I got executed at uh, what, 1579, I think. No, it was about 15, 1578 is where I got executed, and I sold at like um 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 was it 1598 so you know i did pretty good there all right um and that was that was my trade for the day you see and you know and then you could have if theoretically could i could have in hindsight you know not thinking about it i could have taken a short on this reversed and just went short risking the 1601 and i could have took a short on it because you know it did continue to give all that back and the clear confirmation on the shorts, so let's say you're not sure, that pop right here, you see how it, you have that high, that 1598, you see, it ain't getting back to the 1601, what is that showing you? It's weakness. And then you could have just took this down for a short risking here if you weren't comfortable. And that's why I like to play, guys, I like to play the technicals, and look, this thing came all the way collapsing back down to that 15, um, 70, 75 level, got up to 1588, came back down to 1573, now it got below the 1572, and it's up and you know off and running shorts are covering that's why this is gapping up again and you know who knows what even happens tomorrow maybe it continues to tank so that was my trade for today um i missed a lot of great opportunities at the market open a lot of my stocks on my watch list washed nicely um this is my watch list for tomorrow i'll post it onto twitter in a moment um i'm not sure which is going to be my number one play sometimes you know i won't trade anything on my watch list i'll look I'll look, um, you know, something else may pop up in the morning, some news or something, you know, that may pique my interest. Um, but I, I'll see what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna uh, trade. Um, you know, I like, I like this big move uh, for this candle. That's four big green days, um, ADAP. It's easy to borrow. I'm expecting tomorrow. I'm hoping that this thing will, will, will wash. Um, you know, the there's no reason why the stock should be running the way it's running. So. I mean, I would love to see this come back down and, and get back down to like that 550 and make like 40, 50 cents on this. But we'll see. We'll see. I, I'm not sure what's going to happen. So we'll see. I, I'll figure that out. But, um, you know, I got some nice movers on my watch list. Gold is running today. So all the gold stocks are up. So, you know, if gold, you know, if gold, I think gold, because of the volatility that's going on, I think gold may continue to rise. But if for whatever reason, if tomorrow the gold goes down, all those gold stocks will pull back and there'll be great washes tomorrow. All right, so uh, that's what I wanted to talk about, folks. I just want to keep this quick and fast, all right? So uh, have a good evening. Again, follow me on Twitter. Um, uh, follow me on Twitter and on, um, on YouTube. Watch Old Trade. Uh, like and subscribe and comment and all that good stuff. Have a good evening, guys.